And what's up, Aquarius? Welcome to um, Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Empathy, empathy humor, and trust wanted to jump out. So, um, you know, it's with that energy jumping out right away, it feels like someone is in this um, energy of trying to play it off like it doesn't matter to them or, or just um, waiting to see how time works out this situation or something like that, Aquarius. But um, let's go ahead and get into your vibe. You guys, don't forget to check out BlackMadonnaHP.com. There you can book your tarot readings, find tarot cards, and find out more about the services I offer to my subscribers. So definitely check that out. But um, let's go ahead and hop into your energy. See the message Beloved has for you. What's going on with, with the Aquarius, Beloved? What's the vibe for Aquarius, please? Oh. Um, that's more cards than I planned on, but yeah, happiness and trust want to come out again. So happiness and trust, I'm going to um, do those underneath the same one since they hopped out together. Ooh, death and discipline. If this is your energy, it's like you took your power back. Like you got tired of certain things like, um, oh, I'm here discount. Maybe you discounted yourself. You put yourself on sale for somebody else. And I don't mean like a literal sale. I'm speaking a record um, in reference to figuratively. Like, um, you know your value, your worth. But for some reason, you allowed for this person or this situation to um, devalue you in some way. But it's like you took your power back. You're like, I ain't forgot who the hell I am. I'm an Aquarius with my old creative sexy self, right? But um, let's go ahead and get into this message. See? And see what beloved wants you to know. Beloved, what's going on with Aquarius? What's the message you have for my Aquarius? I promise you, um, there needs to be another service provider in my area. Because the way it just has interruptions back to back, it's like, it can't be anything other than the carrier. Sometimes I think going through like one of the phone companies for Wi-Fi is better than the actual carriers, you know? But let's see what's up. What's going on with Aquarius? Why is this for him? Maybe somebody came in and interrupted you that same way. Maybe that was symbolic for something. Why is discipline here? Alrighty. I don't like this energy. But you got the fool. You got the two of swords. The Page of Wands, Temperance, you have the Hangman, and the Knight of Pentacles. The reason why I don't like this energy is this comes back to that, that um, discount energy. Like somebody played this role in this situation, right? And they weren't be, being true to themselves. And therefore, they they had to put on a facade. One minute they were this person. One minute they were that person. One, like, like not being their real authentic self. It's seeming like what it is. For the sake of the situation for another person or something like that. Somebody could work in the airlines, the yoga studio, something like that. They could play basketball. They could be into outdoor, um, outdoor activities. But I feel like, I don't know. This is like somebody, this is this is you trying to be creative and deal with, with the situation in a manner that that I feel like it will bring some type of um some type of settled energy into your life only because how can I explain it? It seems like you were being Aquarius untrue to your true nature of who you are for a person, a situation, colleagues, or something. It seems like you were you were trying to people please or something and putting yourself last, right? Because with this hangman and this knight of pentacles, it's like, I don't know what you were doing it for. Did you think that you would have a long-term like victory or something if you just keep putting on this front, putting on this row? This could be you, could be um, somebody else. But yeah, it's like you weren't being authentic with the seven of swords. Somebody wasn't being authentic here and waiting like for a chance to be them true self. But in the midst of trying to be somebody else, they lost themselves. Okay. Why is death here? 
class death here. That Knight of Wands energy came back out. So, um, ooh, thank goodness. The Knight of Wands. The Six of Swords. The Ace of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. The Will of Fortune and the Magician. Oh no. The Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords. You know what? You transmuted that energy and that's what's up, um, Aquarius. Because when you stop being in denial of who you were, right? And stop being in this night energy of being one one thing after another and just being consistent with who you were, right? When you stepped into your truth, when you stepped into your power, Aquarius, this is how you showed up in the world as your true self, as the queen of pentacles. This is why it's the star that's shining around you because that's signifying your zodiac sign. But you stepped into this more powerful energy, this energy of having it all together, being um, stable, more stable in your thinking. Because as an air sign, sometimes you could just think and think and think and think and think yourself into almost a depressive energy. But when you came into this queen of pentacles energy, you changed the game. With this will of fortune and the magician card, you changed the game and not only did you change the game you put somebody else in the energy that they were trying to put you in and that's why this death card is here okay so whenever you got through playing that role okay and came into your true self of who you are and who you're meant to be yeah the game changed a little bit you could have been dealing with the king of wands energy but let's see why is happiness and trust here for Aquarius why is happiness and trust here for Aquarius Yep, exactly. Damn, this is a sad ass person now, Aquarius. What happened? Sad people. The Four of, of Swords. The Death card. I'm getting worried because I, I don't never see that four of wands hop out. And you guys know I am Team The Ring 2003 hashtag. But we got the Lovers. The Ace of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. This Nine of Cups trying to hide behind this Five of Swords. Because he, he know what the hell he did. Whoever this person is, they know what they did. Okay? Feel bad about it. Okay? Have this energy of having it all, but not having it, anything at all. The Eight of Cups. The Tower. The Two of Wands. Aquarius, baby, you changed the game completely. I don't know what you were doing before that you switched up that you ain't doing now as far as stepping into your power. But um, when you stepped into this power, it's, it was like a butterfly effect. It's like um, this person is feeling what you once felt or the situation. It's like if it turned upside down, like what you were going through, somebody else is going through or vice versa. But if it was a person, I feel like now they're feeling what you felt and like they are regretting it like crazy. It's like something something about you Aquarius is so powerful because I'm telling you when you stepped into your power things shifted and I think you were the sign that I told you when you dream about the sun that you're gonna have a shift like your life is gonna change or whatnot I'm not sure if you've already had that dream or if, if this is an upcoming energy but it seems like you are like changing the game for someone else's like this person is, is seemingly to be um, more uh, like I don't want to say more unhappy but for me to want to say more unhappy that means that this person wasn't happy to begin with so it's bringing this person additional stress additional problems all that stuff like they feel bad for what they did they try to distract themselves maybe with other playmates and things like that or other situations but it all comes back to you and then they're refocused on you so it's it's funny how tables turn this is why you don't like bite the hand that feeds you this is why you try to be good to people because you just never know when the tables will turn 
But either way, Aquarius, I thank you guys so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Please check out the website, blackmadonnahp.com, as well as all my social media sites are under Black Madonna HP. Definitely tap into those. Um, don't forget to check out my SD shop where you can find um, my tarot cards, material creations, all that stuff. I think I got a couple of hats, a little swag on there. Not too much, but got a little swag on there. Check that out. And don't forget to check out the, the merchandise um, tab right there. Make sure you click on that to see all my Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flames, and Zodiac Tees and Sweaters, okay? But other than that, Aquarius, I thank you for tuning in. And until next time, love. Love, peace, and so take care. <laughs>